what's up youtube as we here and uh, if you are using reliance wide broadband connection then you may you may have uh, you may get some problems using it with your wi-fi routers so in this video guys i'm going to show you how you can easily use your reliance wide broadband connection with wi-fi router without any problems so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to divide uh, this video into two parts and uh, uh, okay first we will be showing I'll be showing you how to do set up your connection on the hardware side with your modem and router and uh, then I'll be showing you how to um, uh, make some say made some changes to your router settings with the DNS and IP address and other stuff and uh, how to optimize your router to work it with Reliance wide broadband connection. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that uh, uh, what kind of connection that you will need to do with your router and your uh, Reliance provided cable. Okay, people, here this is my Wi Fi router. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, Ethernet cable that comes from my internet service provider. Okay, this is the WAN cable, and this is going to give your router internet access. So, I I'm not using the Reliance modem over here. Okay, but if you are using Reliance modem, what you have to do is that just take this Ethernet cable out of your router and plug it into your modem's WAN port. Okay, then take another Ethernet cable and then connect one end of that ethernet cable to modem and connect the another end to this routers routers van port okay that's what you have to do but uh, as i'm using my wi-fi router only to get access okay so what you have to do is that if you are going to use the router only just get this ethernet cable and uh, and uh, put this into your van port okay it's generally a different color from every other ports okay plug it and then take an ethernet cable plug one and into any of these four ports okay and then take the other end of the same ethernet cable and connect it to your computer okay that's what you have to do on hardware side to make your Reliance wide broadband connection work. Now we are going to change some settings of our Wi-Fi router. Okay, so now we are going to log in into our router's web page utility. So type your username and password. Okay, so first thing that you should check is your internet connection type okay generally it's in internet connection settings okay or WAN settings or something like that and uh, you should change your connection type to dynamic okay or automatic IP or it's also known as DHCP make sure that you have changed your connection type to this and uh, then save your settings and reboot your router it should work properly but if it doesn't work another thing that we are going to look at is our DNS servers okay so my routers my router that I'm using it's dealing DIR 600L does not uh, provide me an automatic DNS option so I had to enter my DNS servers manually if your router provides DNS automatic DNS server option then I'll I would uh, say that uh, you should use that option that's automatic DNS okay select that reboot your router and uh, check if it's working okay the best way to check if it's working is uh, I like to say that uh, 
uh, open your web browser in your computer that's connected through ethernet cable to your router and then take a wireless device that may be your smartphone or laptop etc and try to open some websites on them at the same time if it's loading it may be a little bit slow but if it's loading then your internet connection is working and also check it after an hour if it's working properly or not okay if it's working then you are good to go just use your internet connection but still if it isn't working with automatic DNS server then you will have to enter DNS servers manually okay select the manual DNS server option and enter these two servers the first one will go for primary primary DNS servers server and the second one will go for secondary DNS server and uh, type these servers I have got this from Reliance uh, okay and uh, type these DNS servers and reboot your router now it should work properly it still doesn't work then we have third solution and uh, it's available if you are using a modem in between your connection okay so if you are using a modem then the problem is IP conflict because your modem and your router may have the same IP address okay and if they are having same IP addresses then it generally it's generally IP conflict between them and then uh, your connection won't work so uh, if uh, you are using our uh, modem then I would like to uh, tell you guys that you should change your router's IP address okay generally your this setting will be found in LAN setup okay so search for it in LAN setup and it would be like router IP address and uh, change it to a format like 192.168.x number that you want to use dot one okay don't change the first two numbers and the last one just change the third one that's I have written here X you can use it anything use any number one two three okay or any number you want I have set it to 192.168.2.1 okay and then apply settings and reboot your router now it should be working properly then again still you are having some problem then you should consult your internet service provider and your router's manufacturer about eight but I don't think so then you will be having any issues it will work probably 90 99% uh, these are the main issues that I found with my broadband reliance wide broadband connection way to use it with a Wi-Fi router thanks for watching my video guys if you found this video helpful I'll appreciate you to click on the like button given below also subscribe to my channel it's for free cause it will help me that's for it you can follow me on Twitter and uh, also follow me on Google Plus thanks for watching bye